Okay, ladies and gents, today is part two of things you may or may not know about the freehand and brush tool. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about is editing objects. Okay, so I'm going to first of all just draw a quick shape object. <clears throat> and if I want to be able to edit this object um, with the freehand and brush tool, first thing I'm going to do is convert this to an editable shape. So go to the range menu, convert to editable shapes. Now it's an editable shape. And then I'm going to take my uh, freehand brush tool, and uh, when I approach the edge of this shape, you'll see that I get the little squiggly mark along uh, on top of the cursor. That means that I can uh, edit from this point on, so I'm going to go ahead and click down the mouse, and I'm going to draw a little bit of a shape here, a little, take a little bite out of my thing, and once I get to the edge, you see that I get that uh, squiggly mark again. Once I have that squiggly mark, I can let go of the cursor, and boom, there you go my uh, shape is edited and uh, basically I've taken away that line. This works on the opposite way as well. You can add to the shape, so I'm going to go outside of it like this, and I can add to the shape that way. Okay, so that being done, I'll get rid of that, and now I'm going to talk about sketch mode. Sketch mode is, um, is this button right here, and you use this button for rapidly drawing lots of lines. Uh, and basically what this does is it prevents you from accidentally drawing uh, shapes or combining lines. So now I'm going to show you what uh, the, the behavior is if I don't have um, the sketch mode enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do this. Right? Okay, when I, uh, when I, if I accidentally were to start a line here, right, on top of this, I basically get another line. And if I got to the end, um, I could, uh, I might end up making a shape. So that's uh, the, way, the way this uh, reacts when you're uh, drawing individual lines. If you're sure that you're never going to touch on top of another line that you've already drawn, then you don't need necessarily the sketch mode, but if you're going to be doing a lot of them, then you might want it because I'll show you what it is without it, right? Control A, I'm going to delete all this and go back to here and select uh, sketch mode. And here I can draw my lines as many times as I want to. But look, if I were to get over this, I don't get the little plus sign, right? So if I draw right on top of that, I still, no matter how many times I draw on top of the end of this line, I can't connect it to the rest of the other lines that are underneath it. And I can't create shapes with this. So look, I'm going to go ahead and make a little circle and bring it right back up to the end. And look, even if I do that, it doesn't make a shape. Now, I can fix that if I wanted to with the shape editor tool and grab one of them. And once I get the plus, then I can make a shape. But that's what this, um, this sketch mode does. You, uh, with that enabled, you only get uh, you only get individual lines. Um, okay, so that's sketch mode. Now I'm going to disable that, and uh, I'm going to talk about pressure sensitive drawing. Um, this is really for use with uh, with a pen and tablet, so you can ignore this if you don't have one. Um, but wh basically, what it does it it changes the size uh, of the of the line that you're drawing with the pressure that you apply on a tablet. So how you uh, enable this is, um, if I had a tablet, and I, and I do, but <clears throat> it's incompatible with this uh, video editing software, so I'm not going to use it right now. Um, you click on this, uh, this enable uh, pressure sensitive drawing. Um, you press escape in case you had something selected, right? That makes sure you have nothing selected. You would select your, whoops, wrong thing. You would select your line width to something reasonable. Uh, 16 points is what I selected. You would uh, press, uh, if, if a, you get a little pop-up, sometimes you do, depends on how, how you're set up. Uh, if you get an alert, you would, there's a, a button that you, that you press to say set, to, to say yes, I do want to set all lines to, to 16, width, uh, 16 point width now. And then uh, you would also need to change the um, this to this um, pin pressure mode right here on the uh, on the uh, stroke shape 
pressure profile, right? Uh, that's what you need to choose. And then uh, once you've done that, you can just draw away. Now, like I say, I'm using a mouse right here, so you don't really see uh, what I'm doing, but that's what uh, that's for. Okay, so that's that. And then uh, trace mode. Okay, so let's import a picture. Well, import. Hmm, here's something that's worth looking at. Yeah, some picture I've stolen from the web somewhere. And basically what this does is um, when you have the um, the uh, trace mode enabled, yeah, uh, Zara tries to follow uh, any visible edges in, the, in a photo. You can turn it on or off by pressing either this button or the T key on your keyboard. Um, and, uh, oh, let me get zoom in to the area that I'm going to try to trace. And, and basically what happens is Zara tries to follow along on the external edge of the photo that you're doing. And then I have a terrible mouse and I can't control it worth crap right now. So this looks absolutely terrible. But you can kind of play with the, the smoother and whatever. Anyway, um, <clears throat> you can also, by the way, as, as it selects a, a, a path to follow, you can, uh, you can press the space bar to say commit to the, to the uh, path that it's followed. In any case, uh, this is a terrible way to trace things. I don't know why anyone would use this, um, it, but uh, that's what this particular tool is for. Uh, I, partic I personally would use something completely different um, in this particular case for tracing this uh, shape editor tool, which you can basically make follow whatever path you want by putting a few points and just bending it along uh, the points as you go. As you can see, that seems to look much, much better. Anyway, um, that's how uh, that's this the end of this uh, particular tutorial. I hope you found it useful and educational. I'll be back in the next tutorial to talk about brushes.